Let's just go ahead and just take a look at UJAM Vibe. UJAM has always made plugins that uh, make it easy for, for those who might not be very proficient at uh, guitar or drums or piano, that you can have these plugins that kind of help you spark ideas and uh, do things that you might not be able to do at the moment. Let's just take a look and see what Vibe is all about. The good thing is with UJAM, they've, they've kind of come up with a really unified type of um, interface that makes it easy to get around. I've got it in instrument mode now, so that way that I can play it. So the engine is not active there. So let's go ahead and turn on the player. And what the player does, it just, it just opens up so many different things. So we're gonna pick a key. Let's uh, check out. Um, let's check out a couple of uh, of these. Um, run into harmony. Let's just check check some of those out. And we'll just pick a key. Let's play. Uh, okay, key of C. Isn't that nice? And you can almost write a song with these progressions here. And the key switches down here, these, um, these alter the complexity and the, uh, and the style. Oh man, Steph, thank you. I'm so glad you can hear now. I can hear you now. When you pick a key, it will intelligently do the minor. So we know if we're playing in the key of C and we go to A, if we play an A, just one finger, uh, it'll play an A minor. And if you do an E, it'll also do an E minor. So it, it's intelligent enough where it knows uh, kind of like how to voice, uh, voice the chords. And the mod will adjust the complexity. It's gonna, the more you push it up, it's gonna play more, it's gonna get busier. Yeah. That's really nice. And let's uh, let's go to another one. Let's go to funk guitar, and here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's go to E. Let's pick a key. Let's go to um, to E natural. And of course, this syncs with your DAW tempo. And we can just check different styles here. And the complexity, the busyness. Let's push it up. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's check out another one. Uh, unpredictable atmosphere. <laughs> and you've got um, effects, so we've got, uh, and, and they're all macro effects as well. So we've got like the finisher effects, uh, we've got a remix, and what this does, it puts it through some different processes, granular effects and that kind of thing. So this is actually a reverse, and then we've got the ambience, and it's just like a complex uh, reverb system. But the thing is, they're very simplified as far as being in the macro, so you just have one knob that controls a lot of parameters. So it just it just kind of helps you to get things set and you know pretty quickly. So let's just hold this down. Let's go to E flat. Yeah, you hear all this crazy stuff going on. And this is just to kind of create ambiences and just different things. I 
that's amazing. And let's uh, just turn, um, let's turn these down, these effects down, and we can just hear what it's doing. And now let's just crank them up a little bit. So it's reversing some of those notes. That's really cool. And then Angry Bass Man, let's check that out. And let's go back to E. Um, let's go back to E. Uh, Steph, I don't, yeah, the styles are not editable uh, per se. Um, I don't see any, I don't see any way that you can actually edit the patterns, uh, but you can edit like the, um, just the effects. And again, it's all, it's all just kind of um, under the hood type of things where you just have very limited control over exactly what's, um, what's going on under the hood. But what you can do, like for some of these patterns, you can drag, uh, let me see if I can get, um, you can drag the, um, the MIDI files out. And I've not experimented with this um, very, very much, I'm just trying to learn, uh, learn about how to do that. So the, the theory is that you can, um, let's see, let's just play that E minor chord here. And there are, um, there's these six uh, six dots here that um, that when you click and drag on those that uh, that actually generates the uh, the MIDI file. So I'm going to try this. Um, so just drag this out. I'm going to drag and drop it on a keyscape thing. Okay. So this is what happens. So now now that pattern gets dropped um, dropped in line here. And let's see. I'm going to solo this and play. This in, uh, so this is Keyscape I've got dropped in. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the beginning. And let's just hear what that did, what I just dropped in there. So here we go. I'm gonna solo, solo this so you can just hear the uh, part that I just dragged in. And so what you can do now is that you can open that up in the piano roll and you can further customize the pattern. So you can um, just lay the chords down and the patterns that you want and then uh, go back and actually edit uh, edit those further. So I guess that's a form, that would be a form of, um, that would be a form of editing uh, to me. Uh, that's, that's the only way I know you can actually get down and, and edit those patterns like that. Um, so, and then the other thing is, okay, let's see what we've got. Let's go back. You've got different characters for the uh, piano. Soft, round, like a bell tone, like more of a Rhodes, and then you can, you just got all kinds of different things going on with that. So let's check out another pattern here. Um, and if you haven't seen the uh, the official walkthrough from UJAM, it is hilarious. So you got to check that out. Um, it's raining bells, and I like this too because we've got some categories: uh, strong and bold, and uh, pads, atmospheres. So uh, you can kind of have some more fine, uh, you know, more categories, more abilities to find out find what you want. So this is using the bell piano. This is kind of nice. So I'm going to change the key to E flat. And this is cool too. If you look here at universal voicing, you can click on it and it has uh, three modes. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, it has three modes. 
you have simplified voicing, you have uh, complex voicing and universal voicing. And so let's put it on, let's put it on complex voicing and, and see what happens. So it chose a D flat six when I did that. So it's just kind of playing around with different things. Yeah, and now it adds the bass with these, uh, as you go up to the style. And then the black keys. Now let's go back to a simple, uh, one of the simpler styles. The black keys are actually like fills. So I'm gonna hold this uh, down. Now let's hit one of the black keys and it'll throw in a fill. It'll kind of change it up a little bit. Like a little flourish or a little fill. Yeah, so that's cool. But for me, I think you can have all of that, um, you can have all of the, you can have all of the gadgets and all the performance things, but if the piano sound is not, um, if the piano sound is not good to begin with, it, it's just like, well, what's, what's the use with that? So you, we can go in and we can slide this over to instrument and this allows us just to play it like any other virtual piano and that's, that's what I just really am impressed with. And let's see. And then we've got the ping pong ambiences and stuff. set here, like uh, run into harmony, it's going to set up some of these um, different things going on here. really like I like the sound so you got the soft Finisher presets. Let's go to the, uh, I like the remix things. We can go to granular paradise. And the more that you uh, pump that uh, knob up, the percentage, the more of the effects gonna just really lay into the sound. Now this is just without anything. I do not think um, I do not think it has a standalone. I don't think it has a standalone version. Um, I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one. But of course, you can put it in Unify, which does have a standalone uh, version. So, Bark. Let's check out the Bark here. Um, yeah, listen. It's 
it's just got some character to it. Um, it's got some really neat character to it. Um, so let's go to Hype and just check that out. So this is like one of those dino piano. And now let's put the uh, color on the finisher. Let's do the, uh, let's do, wow, hi-fi chorus. Let's just crank that up a little bit. I think for me, I would go for this for the sound of the piano because it's got just a very, uh, very cool way of uh, presenting so many different layers of um, the electric piano. And then with the, I guess with the intelligent engine, with the performance engine, it's like it, it would, I would use it, um, you know, to help maybe get some ideas or something, or, or like if you were stuck uh, you know, you pull up maybe one of these, um, one of the styles and be able to just, um, let's see, I'm going to just go into uh, just one more of these player things and tasteful treatment, let's just say. So, so sometimes if you're stuck on something, having a tool like this helps to, um, helps to put you in a different mindset because it's, it's, it's taking another musician. It's like bringing another musician in and uh, they're kind of jamming with you and giving you ideas. So it takes you places that you would not necessarily have thought of yourself. Yeah, listen to that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, while we're here, um, I want to go ahead and just show you um, their acoustic piano. Now, this was the first entry in the, um, this was the first entry into the uh, virtual pianist. Uh, and, and I was just like, same with, same with Vibe. I was really impressed with the core sound of the piano. It's like, it's right there, just that. And the same thing here, and that is that is what I appreciate too, because uh, the, the Virtual Piano Series and all of their instruments, they, they really want to make it easy for you to get around it. Um, and so um, you've got the same thing. You've got emotion, which is a softer piano, and then you've got the ballad. The sounds are just there. Power. So it's more up front and then even plastic. So 
it's great. You've got the sounds and then you come in and you have the player, uh, which, uh, which is so, so fun. So let's uh, try a strong and bright, a happy mood. snow. It was blowing winds at 40 and 50 miles per hour. But I was with you and that's all that mattered. It's cold outside but it's warm in here. I'm so glad my love that I have you so very near. ba do do Christmas Day. You see what I mean? It was 25 below on Christmas Day. I started the fireplace. I'm so glad we have gas. <laughs> We've got to love 37 years, it's got to last I don't care what this world does on the outside As long as I have you by my side It was cold outside, but was warm inside <laughs> Oh my goodness, and the hook, yeah It was 25 below on Christmas Day that's great. <laughs> that is great. You, you know what? You never know what's going to happen. 